Hi Pisces, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is your week ahead reading for the 7th to the, nope, 7th, well maybe the 7th, 8th to the 14th of March. It can cover the 7th too. I'm sure I'm releasing these on the 7th. Um, but if you find it a different date, that doesn't matter. You find these reads when you're supposed to find them. So really it's just the week ahead. Um, all the housekeeping stuff is down below, like house rules and decks used and all that sort of thing is down there. Um, so let's see what we've got. What have we got for Pisces this week? Five of Wands and the Two of Cups. Wow, okay. Um, the Five of Wands is about obstacles, um, clearing. <sighs> You've got to do some work on your heart and solar plexus areas of your, of your chakra. Um, alignment is what I'm really getting. It's a blockage there. Um, so your heart chakra is obviously to do with feelings, relationships, and because you've got the two of cups, I'm really getting relationships. Um, not just any relationship, and I will get to that. Um, the five of wands, the, the solar plexus chakra is kind of like your um, inspiration, your gut um, instincts and your intuition. That gut feeling that you get comes from your solar plexus. Um you really need to listen to your heart this week. And I'm really getting that it's with regards to a person. There is somebody that you are um, soul tied to. So I'm really getting like a soul flame, soul, soul flame. I don't want to say twin flame. It said soul flame. Um, it's a soulmate connection that you have, but you're kind of connected in the sense, maybe it is like a twin flame thing, but I don't want to say twin flame because I don't want to send you back to something that's potentially toxic. That's why I avoid twin flames and that whole, um analogy that whole idea concept because it's it's a beautiful thing but not every relationship is a twin frame relationship a lot of the ones that people think are twin flames aren't twin flames they're just toxic um and they put it as a run chase and it's not a run chase it's just damaging it's a karmic <sighs> something is blocking you energetically in your heart space and your solar plexus because you're not following your your heart, your gut, I don't know if you're looking for this or for a relationship coming in. This is potential that is being blocked right now because your heart and solar plexus chakras are not aligned fully. They're kind of blocked. They kind of need to shine and be cleared. So I would um, recommend doing a meditation on that. Um, and I'm very aware this sounds very, very, very new agey to sit and meditate on that. And I'm not normally like that. But this kind of feels like you do need to meditate on what your heart and solar plexus chakras need. Like, what is it that inspires you? What drives you? What are your core values? Um, I just, do you know what? I'm going to pull a self-love oracle card because they are chakra orientated. Um... You know, what, what makes you happy? What makes you joyous? Because that's really what I'm getting. Like, what makes you happy? Because once you you kind of get to that point and you've, you you realise what makes you happy, you've done the work on your heart and your, and your solar plexus chakras, and you kind of get to that point and you're like, oh, there's one. Um, it just feels like that's what's blocking you from having this coming in, this relationship coming in. Is, is finding out who you are, what makes you shine, what your truth is. It's like you kind of have to know the gift of strength, your inner strength, your inner core, your inner beliefs, like what keeps you going? What keeps you going? What is important? What is fundamental of your essence of who you are? Your personality. Because it's almost like you're scared to be yourself. Because you're scared to open up to the world who you really are. Clarity. Just having an awareness of who you are. And what you need. What you require. And then once you do that. Once you know what you need, what you require, and you've and you've done that work, and you've got to that point, the universe comes in to match what you're looking for. I'm 
But yeah, I would absolutely do meditation on it. Joy. What makes you happy? What are you, What's worth fighting for for you? Like what, what matters to you enough? What is your core strength? What are your core values? What makes you happy? Clarity and joy are the soul lessons that are coming in. Clarity and joy, like what truly makes you happy? You may feel like you're soul tied to someone, like you feel a tug in your heart chakra or your, or your solar plexus chakra. That's kind of where you feel the pull from this person. They may or may not be in your life yet. Um, I'm really getting that they're not in your life yet because it's waiting for you to unblock that so that you can be very clear and let them in. You're in a place where you can let that person into your life on that level. Two of Wands, have a vision of who you are, where you want to go, what you want to do. It's very much focusing on your core, what makes you happy, where you want to go in order to make yourself happy. What else have we got? Hierophant, higher learning. Maybe it's time to do some meditations. Get a bit of guidance from within, actually. I'm getting more than without, because it's almost like third eye there. Meditating tapping into your own intuition you're very intuitive pisces do you know what i mean you're like the wisest of the whole zodiac so see the bigger picture what makes you happy align yourself with your best version of yourself who you want to be who you see that being and if you need to get guidance and 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 how to get to that point. Yeah. A clearing of the heart chakra at least. Even clearing your heart chakra is going to start making movements forward. But I don't think this is going to come in until you know. It's very clear Green, what makes you um, clear of what makes you happy. <laughs> what you love that's very easy because you feel that your solar plexus is all about being aware of it and it's about learning awareness meditation is very important for awareness and um, let's see what we've got for the thread bound oracle for you pisces family kinship belonging collaboration I think you'll find a sense of belonging once you've done this, once you've cleared like who the fundamentals of your personality, who your, what your personality is, what makes you happy, who you truly are. Only when we truly are ourselves do we find where we belong. You find your soul family once you know who what your soul is, because the solar plexus is like the soul chakra. And once you know on a soul level who you are, that's when you find your soul family. That's when you find your tribe. The festival, celebration, fun, material goods. So, and then the book, Identity, Consciousness and Manifest. So what makes you happy? What makes you laugh? What makes you smile? Who are you? What are your core values? Because only then, when you know who you are, can you know where you want to go and make that happen. It's very much a self-reflecting time for you right now, um, Pisces. And I really like that. I really like that. That family card has come through a lot today. Um, I hope that has been of some help to you, Pisces. Um, let me know down below if it's resonated or not. Um, if you want to be notified of the next reads that come up, by all means subscribe and do the ring-a-ding-ding -ding bell in order to be notified. Um, hopefully I will see you again next week. Maybe there'll be an energy check-in in the meantime, but if not, I'll see you next week. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.